Brian's Mobile One. You may or may not recognize this, but this is the back window out of a Chevy Suburban or a GMC Yukon. Everybody's seen these things come off. These are the defrost grid connectors. This is how it's supposed to be. This is the way we did it because this material was too dirty, contaminated, or whatever to get it to go. Doing these on the vehicle, I've done it before. I've done videos on doing it before, but it's a lot easier to just lay it on a flat surface. I've got this one on a towel on a workbench. Previously on Brian's Mobile One. A lot of windows that I've repaired are not easily removed. The Suburban's different in that regard, but the principal are just saying get it clean, get solder on each piece, solder them together, and then use gravity to flow in the rest. On the bench, I would mask it. You'll see why. I can see the contact here and the contact here have come undone. So the first step we need to do is get some pliers and pull that end out of there because that wire is going to torque on it and make it difficult to solder. So we'll pull that out and then we'll wire brush this end and then we'll also wire brush this end. We'll attend it. We'll just have to be extra generous on the glass. So as you look at this, you can see that there's nothing but holes in the two places where it pulled off completely. So you want to make sure that your cord will reach the area that you're going to be soldering to and then you have to get it down to just the metallic material. What you want to do is you want to heat the glass and the metal and then introduce the solder. And if you do it just right, the solder will be introduced. You don't want a whole lot of smoke. So you just want to be quick with it and just get a little button to solder in each location. This one took two people. I held the iron and I held this with pliers because it gets too hot to hold. And then we just got it so hot that the solder could go in at the top. And then we just tap it in there and it would flow down through the rest of it and just fill the whole backside full of solder. Pre-wet them, just get some stuff on it at first and then melt them together. Cleanliness is key. Anywhere that you have any oxidation, rust kind of stuff, it's going to inhibit your ability to get a good stick to it. This one was just a practice run and it's just super, super stuck. Uh, this is really ugly. I'm not proud of the way that turned out. But given what we had to work with, it is acceptable. Uh, the owner approves of it. Um, you could pick the glass up by this thing now and it doesn't come off. So I use a solder iron and I heat the solder, drip it on there if you can. And then we did solder on this. We had this upside down and we put a couple buttons of solder on that first. Uh, with both of them tinned, stick them together and then apply heat. Uh, to get it started and then I just chased it around after it was on there good I stuck a little solder underneath and got it to adhere on the bottom side as well in order to get this off you can see that there's a fastener missing here and here that's for the spoiler and yeah, spoiler has a couple of 10 millimeter bolts here these are just torques and then you've got your window lift struts so you just use a screwdriver to pry back the little C on it and then just pry them off Show you what that looks like on the vehicle. Uh, the reason why we took the spoiler off instead of unplugging it is you have this wire harness. So we've got a blanket on top and you just take the whole spoiler and just lay it like this. These are where the torques went. Uh, to mount this on, you can see that they move around a little bit. Um, once you have it tightened down, you won't have any rattle. That's where the 10 millimeter nuts went. And as far as getting it off the hinges, there's an E-clip on each of these. These all point to the driver's side on both sides. So once you have the clips off, you just move the whole hinge and glass assembly to the left and you're free. So these, you just rotate them around like that. So when you pop them off, you just put a screwdriver into this and uh, see it's clipped in. Just pry it back and it'll come off. And you can lay it on the little rubber thing here. These, of course, you just push the button here to undo it but getting the glass off is key. Having it be in a well-lit area and in a heated shop makes all the difference in the world. You can take it in your house and do it on your kitchen table, whatever you gotta do. This is what it looks like with just the glass and the hinge without the spoiler in place, just for reference. It looks kinda like a wet, poofy cat. So the spoiler makes contact with the glass. There's a little rubber pad in there and these body lines all match up. So when you go to put it back on, put it in the position that you have it look pretty and it'll be fine. Um, I've got Ross here and he was doing this side of it while I did this side. And whether you're coming off or going on, you want to support it evenly. If this goes up a little bit more than the other side, then the threads of those two bolts that go on the top are going to catch on it. 
Same thing when you go on, you want to have it go on straight down together all at once. If you found this video helpful, click thumbs up and that'll help other people to find it. If you have any comments, questions, praise, whatever, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And thanks for tuning in. Bonus footage at the end. Saw this at SEMA 2021 and I just thought this was a lot of fun. A smart car's fun, but if you were to lift it and make it a little sand buggy, I just thought that'd be a lot of fun in Utah, especially in the St. George area around Sand Hollow. Uh, it's a reservoir where you've got a lake, you've got sand, and uh, you got a truck like this where you can haul a sand buggy and not just any boat, but a nice super wake setting kind of surf boat. I just thought this thing would be a lot of fun. I was impressed with it, took a little video of it. It's all color matched and it's just all ready to go play.